All right, guys and girls, Metal Man 8 over on Tree here today. How is it all going? I'm here to bring you a brand new unboxing video. The unboxing video on this Nabby Dozy day. Well, anyway, well, anyway, I know what. Um, a couple of days ago, or a few, a couple of days ago, when I went to York, I bought myself a couple of new, a couple of new albums. New albums for me collection at the back. Collection at the back. Um, two on two for ten pound offer. And this is going to be an unboxing video of the second one. But you know, this one I opened up on the way back and had a bit of a listen to. I have got these two albums. Right, the first one is Rainbow. Rainbow. This is their last album, which they re which they released before before. They all broke up originally because Deep Purple reunited in '84. This one is bent out of shape. Yep. Quick look. There we are. Yep. It's quite good. Quite all right. Um, yep. And but but that's not um. Oh, that was quite good when I listened to it. And also, there, there there's an album which I've got which I've got inside in my in my collection. In my collection, in my vinyl collection, called there's Blue Oyster Cult. It was one of their, it was their 1976 album called Agents of Fortune, which featured a very, very well-known track of theirs, which was Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> and and now this unboxing video is I've, I've got a Blue Oyster Cult album, which I'm going to be unboxing. Which I'm going to be unboxing. This is this out and the first one, which I which I've now got on CD. This Blue Oyster Cult album is considered by quite a lot of people to be one of their best works. This one came out before. This one came out before, Agents of Fortune. This album came out in 1974. This is Blue Oyster Cult's third album, and this one is Blue Oyster Cult Secret Treaties. And Yep, really, really quite good. I'm going to be unboxing this for you guys and possibly have a listen to it. And possibly have a listen, see if it works and everything and what have you. And and this album is the last of their Blue Oyster Cults, what, what they're called, the Black and White Era. Because, well, because, well, because, well, because of the cover, obviously. You're all black and white and everything. So, um, yep, well, anyway, many, well, this is an album which many... The Royce Court fans consider to be who consider to be the best and not there. Well, you know, so yep, well, anyway, well, anyway, we're gonna unbox this for you guys and have a quite we're gonna have a look at this as well. So, yep, it's gonna be quite good and enjoy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay here today. We're gonna put the camera down a bit and just, well, anyway, here we are, here we are, here we have it, Blue Oyster Cult. Secret Treaties again. This this CD I, I got for a two for ten pound offer at HMV. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. For well, anyway, we're gonna have a quick look at this and then we're gonna open it up. Well, anyway, here is the front cover of the album. The Oyster the Cult Secret Treaties. The band the standing in front of a German. Um, M, I think M E eight eight sixty two wartime airplane, and the, which also. Oh, M E M E two two two. I'll start again. M E two six two, German war airplane. Which, which, also there, there's a song on this album at the same name as well. So yep, you can see all the bands standing in front of it, and on it, this the band's classic lineup lasted for ten years, up until nineteen eighty one when the drummer Albert Bouchard left the band. And because he ended up being late on most most of the concerts, and then that's when the classic lineup started breaking up from there. Well, anyway, here is titles on here, and now here's the back of it. Track listing on here. There's good old image of the airplane gonna drop some bombs and everything and what have you. I don't know if it might. Okay, I'm just joking. <laughs> There's the track listing and what have you. What what's got on this album and also this is a re-release got some bonus tracks on there. <laughs> Woohoo! Quite good. This is gonna I think this album will be a fabulous Blue Oyster Cult album. You no, know some yep, well, anyway, that is the back. 
Now, open up time. What what happened? What happened if I did this in slow motion? this up we're not gonna do it in slow motion all day are we well anyway i've got well anyway i just had to think about doing this video for an unboxing video well since i had the other out since i had this owl mine around i thought i might give this a bit of a listen should be should be really quite fabulous album to listen to well anyway here we are pull this off i think just like that yep Yep. If I took this two for ten pounds sticker off, I could put it on me. I could be part of that deal, probably. <laughs> yep. But anyway, now we've opened up, opened up this, opened it up. Let's see what we've got in here. Eh? Let's see what we've got in here. Eh? I've got one of the songs from this album in my head. Yep, and also, on this, here we are, is the album right here. And what, it's in this on the back, what it says. Yep. And also, this, but the band had a couple of, had, there were two of the band's writers in, in, who written songs for the Oyster Cult? One of them was, one of them was an author, but a, a very a, sci a science fiction sort of author. And and there's a future punk, future punk rocker and poetess called Patty Smith, who who writ who also written songs for the Oyster Cult, and also was the girlfriend of the rhythm guitarist and keyboardist after this bond, Alan Lanier. Oh. Oh um, yep. Oh oh, I forgot to say. Oh, and also, the band's manager Sandy Perlman he produced this album. He also managed the band, wrote some songs on this album, produced it, and also, did you know this? He also managed Black Sabbath during the Ronnie James Dio era, in the early nineteen eighties as well. He was for a few years, and also there's there's a video with. Both of those bands in America are called Black and Blue over in New York in October 1980. Well, anyway, so yep, quite a obvious album. We're gonna go and have a listen to it now. I'll see you in a moment. Well, anyway, I've just had a little test of it out just moments, moments, a moment ago. And I've got to say. Woohoo! It works! Woohoo! Well, anyway, you know what? I'm gonna have a listen to this. Probably at some stage tonight, probably. I think this will be a quite good Blue Oyster Cult album. Um, yep. Uh, so, yep, really quite good. And also, quite a good cover as well. Look at that cover. Fun. Pastigo. Woohoo! Well, anyway, guys and girls, that's the end of that video. Well, anyway, and I hope, you, you hope you've all really, really enjoyed it. And, and also, I'm going to be got quite a few, got, I've got about four or five other videos which I'm going to be uploading today as well so yeah, it's going to be quite good well anyway, well anyway guys and gals until I upload the next video I've just got to say, I've just got to say thank you, th thank you all so much for watching don't, don't forget to cop, don't forget to comment, like comment, like, subscribe to my channel if, if you fancy if you fancy watching any of my videos or liking them, and don't 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 forget don't forget to check some more out after this. I recommend this. <laughs> well, anyway, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace until and until then. Sign off.